In the race for the Republican nomination, delegate counts differ depending on who is counting. Why are delegates tallied differently by different news organizations, and how are they chosen in the 2012 primaries? For starters, states have vastly different rules on how candidates are apportioned delegates. And those rules don't always correlate with how a candidate does in the popular vote. In Iowa, the popular vote has nothing to do with delegate selection. Caucus participants choose who they would like to see be president, and then afterwards, some volunteer to be a delegate in the county caucuses in March. Even after they're made official at the state caucus in June, Iowa delegates will be unbound or allowed to vote for any candidate at the Republican National Convention. That's why tallies are different right now. Nobody knows the real number yet. New Hampshire has a proportional delegate primary. The state's 12 delegates are divvied up among Mitt Romney, Ron Paul, and John Huntsman, all of whom received over 10% of the popular vote count. South Carolina's primary on January 21st is a winner-takes-most contest for 25 delegates. Whichever candidate wins the statewide vote gets 11 at-large delegates. The remaining 14 congressional district delegates are winner-take-all in the Palmetto State's seven districts, meaning some of them may go to runners-up. Florida is a winner-take-all state, with its 50 delegates allocated to the primary winner on January 31st. If Mitt Romney sweeps the January contests, he'll only have about 5% of the 1,144 delegates needed to clinch the nomination. But with momentum and money, the former Massachusetts governor would become the presumptive nominee long before delegates head to Tampa for the GOP convention in August. 